Pretty, witty, girly, worldly. One who likes to party but come home early. Hi everyone, Miss Michael Hughes here, back for another review. This time we're going to go over Marvel's <laughs> Avengers Affinity War. Mm -hmm. And I have my best friend here with me this time. He is Llewellyn Schoolark. Uh, follow me on everything at Llewellyn. No, I'll add that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, so to kick it off, so as we all know, Affinity War, Infinity War has just happened, and it was amazing. So if okay. you haven't seen it, you should check that out. Okay. Um, we all are a little iffy about the ending and a little conflicted, <sighs> but we won't start there. We won't start there. So <laughs> what were your thoughts on the movie? The movie as a whole was definitely incredible. Um, I mean, our favorite characters, we never seen anything like this yes. at this magnitude to where you have Spider-Man, Black Panther, Captain America, Iron yeah. Man, the list just goes on. on, and on. I think it was yeah. about like 74 different characters, but um, it was a phenomenal film. Yeah. Um, I I was even satisfied with the, with the not only the runtime, but the time that each character um, had on the screen. I know I, I, I saw mm -hmm. some nine spoiler reviews and some people had issue with that, but um, I was fine with that. Um, I, I mean, of course, I did want, you know, more Black Panther, more Korea, obviously, more obviously, Wakanda, right? Yeah. But um, no, no, no. I think for what they did, um, they did it They did it the right way. I had a few gripes, but overall, an, an amazing film. Okay. Yeah. I agree. I thought it was amazing. I did appreciate seeing all the characters. However, as someone who was like really big into the comics, really mm -hmm. like into like books in general, I thought that the narrative like was just too short. Like, I okay. don't feel like they spent enough time. Like, I think, like, T'Challa had, what, two lines, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I kind of yeah. wanted them to say more. The only real story that I felt like we got to unpack was Thanos and his daughter. True. Like, that was... And I think they did that for a reason. Otherwise, you don't have, like, really um, um, amazing villains as you do these heroes. And I think mm -hmm. they wanted to uh, dive into Thanos' story, his background to make us understand why he was on this quest to do this. But did you feel like they achieved that? No. Okay, because no. I was about to say, like, I feel like they tried to show Thanos as like this complex character mm. with like layers of emotions. Um, and the closest we got to that, I don't want to say the whole mm. like complete right. thing, but the closest we got to that was the situation with his daughter and the decision that he had to make. Correct. But even still though, I didn't feel empathetic toward him. No, not at all. I, I, I think I'm not, I'm still not completely sure why he wants to rid the right. universe yeah, of half yeah. of its population and I'm just like how is that going to bring balance like I could see if he was going in and selecting which people he wanted to take out of the universe but you're just randomly right you know so that but I was so I felt a little conflicted about that just right. so I don't know if this was like Jack Kirby's intent and stuff back in the day but whether or not it had like a religious kind of underline as far as like the good mm. shall inherit the earth Okay. Or even if you wanted to go scientific, where as far as uh, natural selection, okay. right? Okay. So I don't know like what lane they wanted to take it down, but it kind of reminded me of that as far as like you have no role in who dies. It's kind of mm. like innate to that person whether or not they survive this. No, I'm I might be too deep. I'm glad no. I'm glad you said that because, or before you cleared that up, when you said yeah. the good shall inherit the earth, and I'm like, well, how do you know who's good, who's bad? Right. I mean, this is a spoiler review, so yeah. <laughs> you you got rid of Spider Man and Black Panther. Those yeah, are yeah, right. You know? That's what I yeah. So I'm just like, yikes. Um, I mean, and now that we've dived into that, I I know something is going to be altered. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if we're speaking realistically, yeah. Marvel's entering what phase four now. Mm -hmm. They're wrapping up phase three, going yeah. into phase four. You have these huge characters being that of Spider Man, Black Panther, Black Panther. Yeah. What? Domestically, third highest grossing film in, ever in history. Yeah, you're not killing Black Panther. Exactly. You're not getting, right, rid, of, you're not getting rid of T'Challa. You're not getting rid of you know Peter Parker. So I know, and I'm not. You may know. Are they dropping the fourth one next year? Like, was it? Shot oh, I don't know if it was back to back. Not sure. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, realistically, in order to start Phase Four mm -hmm. with the second Spider-Man film, with the um, second Black Panther film, with Captain Marvel. You need to re, you know, you gotta bring these characters back. So, uh, with that being said, they should yeah. be dropping that soon. But I was curious about that because I don't know if they would do it the same way they do the comics, but mm -hmm. you know, sometimes an event will happen and then Marvel will go back 
and tells like the backstories prior to this. Okay. So I don't know if they would still have Black Panther 2, all these other films, mm -hmm. and then do it like pre mm -hmm. this incident and then drop Avengers 2. Okay. Or, or 4. Yeah, yeah, 4. yeah. yeah. Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. Captain Marvel, that was a setup for, you know, anybody that doesn't know the end credit. Did you say for the, I'm sure you say for the end credit scene. Okay, yeah, but did they have one or two? Because they only said one. one. Okay, so they only had one. Yeah. So they only have one. Um, yeah, they mentioned that. They only had one. Uh, so we finally get to see Nick Fury. Now, I will yes. say that. I'll, I'll go back on what I said earlier. Nick Fury should have got far more time. Uh, Samuel I think Jackson. So too, right? Like, I, it didn't even, I didn't even realize until he popped on the screen. I was like, we ain't seen Nick. Yeah, like, yeah, it is, yeah. Um, right. So there's that. Um, but I, I just feel like... I feel like it was an incredible film. Yeah. My, that's what I was going to say. My, so my theory is that, and I may be wrong, but my theory is that one of the big three, because if you realize, and that was one of my, my touch points, is that none of the big three died. So we had that scene okay. in which we thought Iron Man was done for. Was it? Right. Um, Cap is still well and alive. Yes. And Thor, those are big three yeah. Avengers, and neither of them died. So okay. my thing is, we have Tony and, and Steve who have not talked in years. They're going to reconnect and it's just going to be that bromance, that magic again. Mm. And Thor now has Stormbreaker, which is supposedly the only weapon that can kill Thanos. Yeah. So when they come together, I feel like something's going to take place in which they can get that time stone. Oh, absolutely. And just like absolutely. Thanos did with the, what was the mind stone, he'll mm -hmm. reverse time. Yeah. So that these people come back. Yeah. Now that's kind of what I text you. I was like somebody, like I feel like somebody has to get the glove. Somebody has yeah. to. Yeah. And I'm so glad you said that because in the comics, to my knowledge, at one point in time, Black Panther wields it to destroy mm. Doctor Doom. Now, granted, we don't have Doctor Doom in the MCU, right. but now we don't have Black Panther in the MCU. <laughs> so like that would have been a dope segue if he. And don't kill me. I love my queens, but had a boy <laughs> faded. And Black uh, Panther been like, ah, you know. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of a, okay. I kind of, I don't know if this is what like Marvel intends to do, but I'm kind of waiting for Okoye to die. Mm -hmm. Only because in the comics, like, Okoye is not the general. Well, like, Okoye also has a beautiful girlfriend in the comics. I mean, that, like, they're straight away. But her from name her. is not Okoye. That's what I'm saying. Like, mm -hmm. um, what, Anike? Like, ah, I didn't want to say it's Anike. Like, nah, it's not Anike. I'm, I'm gonna insert her name. Mm -hmm. But. She takes over as a general. Okay. So I'm like, at some point, Okoye has to die. Because like, yeah. she's the lesbian, not Okoye. Ah, okay. So that's why I'm like, everybody was upset. But I was like, they didn't veer off because Okoye isn't a lesbian. Gotcha. So I'm waiting to see if they're going to Gotcha. Yeah. No. I, Oye, Ayo. Ayo is her name. Okay. I, would, I just feel like that would have been a nice little, you know. Because Black Panther is definitely about to hold this entire oh, Marvel yeah. Universe down. Oh, yeah. After. And see, that's the thing. This is such... And I mean, we just have to come to terms with it. This is such a, a, a powerhouse for these production studios. It's a cash cow. So oh, yeah. when you have characters like Robert Downing or, you know, uh, uh, Steve, uh, Chris Evans, who don't necessarily want to give up that, because none of them died. Like, everybody was yeah. banking that these were the characters yeah. we'd see leave because their contracts are up. Who's to say? I think it's even um, documented that Chris Evans has come out and said, I'd, I'd be up to play this role forever. forever? Uh, uh, Robert Downing. This man was, you know, back in the day, was on his last leg, drug mm -hmm. abuse and everything. And this Tony Stark has revitalized oh, his yeah. entire career. Yeah. So why give that up? I'll play that as long as I can. Um, that, hell, he's getting what fifty million plus you know, per, you know, appearance. So I don't. I think that was key that we didn't lose any of these big players. Um, and then. What's the name? Chris Hemsworth? Uh, Thor? Mm, mm -hmm. In my opinion, he can't... He is yet to uh, play a role. And he has such a young yeah. acting experience. He's yet to play a role in which it stood out like Thor. Fact, so that's why not continue yeah. to play this and ride this out? Yeah. Um, I would, yeah, I would not be surprised if nobody dies. I think it, it, it'd be kind of like a cop-out for Marvel. Oh, somebody definitely yeah. has to die. But again, we lost uh, Loki, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think that's, been I think that's, yeah, that's done. That's, that's been coming for some time. Yeah. Loki's a wrap, especially yeah. when you pulled the blade out and didn't execute and you did yeah. it to think. Yeah, it's yeah. a wrap. Uh, but no, Hathanos gave uh, Hulk that beating. Yikes. <laughs> um, and that was so, that was, that was so, um, 
well done how appropriate, yeah. how Loki goes, we have a Hulk, and then he just yeah. hit him with the ones and twos. We was like, do we have a Hulk? Yeah. Um, I think that we're going. We definitely lost Loki. Yes. We definitely R. lost R. Idris. Um, that, that was quick. That was I thought quick. Idris is like deserved more time, consider his level of celebrity. That, that was, was quick. A one and done. I mean, yeah. Loki was quick, but his was like he has more lines. He didn't even have a line, did he? No. Oh. Huh? <laughs> he had really eye quick. contact with Thor. Um, <laughs> one person's death, I'm not sure about. Like. Okay, I'm definitely sure that Black Panther will, will come back. I'm definitely okay. sure that Spider-Man will come back. One character I'm kind of like, will she come back? Is yeah. Gamora. Guardians is really at its peak. I feel like they need her to go for that. They have to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, for Guardians 3, they have to bring Gamora back. But I feel like... I, would, I, don't, I don't think I would like that. Only because yeah. that's how you acquire the stone. The stone. But see, so if her death is fake, then... I don't know. My mind just went down this whole like rabbit hole because mm -hmm. maybe like even if I don't know this like this pit was like the soul that needed to be sacrificed was your own and kind of that's how we end up taking out Thanos. I don't think they would do that because I feel like that gets too into like sci-fi mysticism mm -hmm. a bit. Mm -hmm. But that's like the only way because otherwise, how did you acquire the stone? How did you acquire right. the stone? And I, that's what I kept telling myself. I'm like, okay, she's not dead. You know, she's faking. But yeah, when she didn't die there, I was like, okay, she's not gonna die. Yeah. But then when they threw that in there, and then we see her lying down there, yeah. and she did not survive that fall. Yeah. Star Lord loves her so much, though. I feel like he's gonna bring her back. So whether he sees mm -hmm. that the time stone is used to bring all the other characters back, and he's like, yo, uh, my girlfriend, she okay. needed, you know. Yeah. Um, okay. And then he already has the stone, so um, maybe it won't retract to go back to wherever it was at. Uh -huh. Um, so that might be how they how they do that, but I don't. Yeah, I can't yeah. see Gamora yeah. being dead in the series. Um, yeah, Nebula nor Mantis, in my opinion, hold the weight of Gamora. Like she fought, she holds far more weight. That was all the key points. Any yeah, yeah. Points um, I mean, my only other gripe was Hulk. Um, I, what, what? It was frustrating to me that Bruce Banner could not get the Hulk to come out. Um, promo showed the, the Hulk running in Wakanda into battle and we never get the Hulk. Yeah. So Hulk has never been in my to my knowledge, the Hulk has never been big on fear. So right. we only see the Hulk after he gets beat by Thanos so he will no longer come oh, out. Yeah. So it's like what? I honestly thought that Bruce would be in the Hulk smasher or the Hulk Buster. Mm -hmm. And he'd be in a predicament in which he had the Hulk out and he'd explode from you know, the suit yeah. to the Hulk and give, ah. you know, that's what I wanted to see. But for him to never come out and then Bruce is battling with, with the Hulk, like, yeah. you know, come out and he's, no. So it's like, yeah, I was, I really wanted him to come in. That was my, you know, and that's a nitpicky gripe. But I kind of liked it. Like, cause I feel like for the first time, the Hulk kind of has complexity. Like, I don't feel like mm -hmm. the Hulk has ever had that. It's always mm -hmm. been, even if you go back to Avengers 1, it was like, the key is I'm always mad. That's yeah. how he can always come out. So I think to have like, to finally show Bruce even like evolving as a person and then the hope to have like multiple layers. I thought that was dope. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I like the whole Jekyll and Hyde thing and they've always had that. That right. was, you know, big on its, um, its uh, you know, creative existence. But I I don't know. I guess as, as the, the inner kid in me was like, I just want to see the whole <laughs> smash. And uh, to never see it. You know, you got yeah. every character in here and he doesn't come out. It's just like... Uh, you know, he um, did take quite a beating. He literally mopped the floor with him. Though. But I mean, yeah, I guess. he. Yeah. I will say, I almost forgot. I will say, I love the interaction between uh, Okoye, Black Widow, mm. and I'm missing somebody. It was another. It was. Who was um, it? They took down um, Approximate Moon. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But no, I really love because they had like two scenes where it was like yeah. super dope girl power. Like, we about to, you know, yeah, get into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I really like that. I wish. They would have um, incorporated Valkyrie. Mm. Or, I'm saying right, right? Yeah. Yeah. I really wish they would have incorporated that character in there. Because we didn't have, we don't see Valkyrie, we don't see Hawkeye, which is huge yeah. because he's not in the promo. But yeah. a lot of people said that, I think the Russo brothers even came out and said that his role is very substantial in these next couple films. So for him ah, to not to appear okay. in this one, it's like, okay. He, I mean, it he, is a million characters that yeah. can bring out. <laughs> so, um,. Nor do we see Ant Man, but I'm I'm imagining we no, don't see right. Ant Man because his film is about to come out. Mm -hmm. It probably takes place like you know right before okay. all this goes down. Yeah. 
Um, so I wasn't surprised for that. But um, no, no, I really like that. I really wish I could uh, remember the other character's name, but I really like that girl power because they had, they had a couple, oh, I know. It was Scarlet Witch. Yeah, Scarlet yeah, Witch. yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that dynamic, they really did a good job with her and uh, her and Vision. Okay. Um, I really oh, like that. As a, yeah, 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 yeah. As a designer, I love the fact that Vision's color fades when he loses the, the mind zone. I was, I was just like, I never thought he'd just go great. <laughs> you mean to tell me this man is great? So, um, okay. no, no. Incredible for him. Yeah, um, definitely worth checking out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Can't say enough. Definitely yeah. worth checking out. All right, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah thanks great. for coming. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Teamwork. Right. Um, but yeah, so until next time, we out. That's a real one in your reflection. Without a follow, without a mention.